Welcome back to Candlesec. Today, as promised, we are going to start our new Next Special Publication 853 Control Series, DAB Understanding and Simplification of the Security Controls. And as always, please consider subscribing to help grow the channel, smash the like button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you and let's get started. Next security control requirements simplifications. In this video series, we will be reviewing the next control requirements by families one after the other and try to simplify what those control requirements are calling for and some of the pointers on how to test or assess them. We are going to start with the access control family, of course, for the obvious reason being the first in the, uh, in the list of controls. After we are done with the access control, we will then move on to the awareness and training and audit and accountability and so on and so forth. Access control policy and procedure, which is the first in the family, address the controls in the AC family that are implemented within the systems and organizations. The policy can be included as part of the general security policy or represented by multiple policy reflecting the complex nature of the organization. That is to say, if it is if the organization is not a big organization, they might have uh, access control policy and procedure as a single document. But the more complex the organization gets, you notice that the access control policy and procedure will be spread, you know, across multiple uh, organizational policies and procedure. But nonetheless, however the case may be, the access control policy and procedure is meant to address the AC controls within the organization. Procedures can be documented in the system security plan or in one or more separate documents. And what are the procedures? Procedures describe how the policies or controls are implemented and can be directed at the individual or role that is the subject of the procedure. Now we're going to take a look at the special publication 853 control requirement. And again, we're going to be using the ref five instead of the ref four. Why? Because a lot of um, the, the organizations are starting to move to ref five. So in that case, it's, it is better to start this control series using the ref five at least so we can go into the future with the new revision document instead of, you know, staying with the old revision four, which is, you know, eventually going to be transitioned over to the ref five. So we're going to start using this, uh, ref five in this control series so that we can, you know, move into the future with the control in the ref five. All right. So now let's go over the control requirement for AC dash one, the policies and procedure, the control. This is the requirement of the control. It says develop, document, and disseminate to. Anytime you see the word assignment, anything that comes after it with, within the parentheses is the discretion of the organization or the agency. So whatever or however they want to implement that is up to them. So for instance, it says assignment, organization, define personnel or role. So if you develop document or disseminate who you're going to disseminate this control or this access control policy and procedure document to is your own discretion the government cannot tell you uh disseminate this to uh hr personnel only or it personnel only or finance or marketing department only that is your discretion that is your call going forward it says select selection organization level mission or business process level, system level, access control policy that A, addresses purpose, scope, roles, responsibilities, management, commitment, coordination among organizational entity and compliance, and B, is consistent with applicable laws, executive orders, directive, regulations, policies, standard and guidelines, and Two, procedures to facilitate the implementation of the access control policy and the associated access controls. It went further by saying, B, designate an 
again assignment organization define official so whoever is going to be your official is is your call to manage the development documentation and the dissemination of the access control policy and procedure and c review and update the current access control one policy assignment again organization define frequency so the frequency of your review is up to you the review and update is up to you if you want to do yearly you know two years three years however the case may be you have to define a frequency and this frequency should be documented so you cannot say i'm going to do it yearly and then the next year i'm going to revise it to two years it has to be constant you know if you review your document yearly on an annual basis it has to be on an annual basis and then the procedure the same thing you have to define a frequency for the update assignment organizational defined event whatever event you want to modify within your procedure is up to you but it has to be a standard it has to be like a, a system in place whereby you you review you update you have somebody who's responsible for these kind of things and everything should be in place this is what this control is calling and it's a it's a slight changes here, here and there from the uh, special publication 853 revision 4. But in, in any case, the, the general concept of, you know, of the control is still the same. All right, so now let's look at the control requirement simplification. Everything that we read in the document, the special publication 53 uh, revision 5, is just you know on a high level what they want to be done but let's look at how best we can simplify this control requirement so the purpose of this control is to make sure that agencies and organizations have access control policy and procedure that are number one specific to the agency and organization number two made available to all personnel or selected personnel in the organization Three, updated regularly to keep it current and relevant. So the access control policy and procedure should be updated, should be kept current and relevant. Now moving on, what is uh, uh, the control assessment approach? If you're gonna, if you are a control assessor and you're gonna be assessing this access control policy and procedure, what are some of the uh, uh, tips that you should follow in assessing this control? So to ensure this control is in place, and functioning as intended, that is the design and functional effectiveness. We do the following during the assessment. We obtain and examine the access control policy and procedure. We call them the dash one controls. Two, obtain and examine system security plan, that is the SSP. Typically within the SSP, you will see exactly how these controls are implemented. So that's why when you are testing controls, some of the first document that you need to review are the SSP and the policy and procedure for the organization. In that, you'll be able to see exactly how they implement the control. Remember, the, the document, the NIST documentation is calling for assignment, and then they have the discretion to choose however they want to you know, implement or however they want to disseminate these kind of controls. So that you have to read the policy and procedure and as well as the security system security plan to understand exactly how they implemented it and how they are, you know, putting up with this control within the organization. And that is how it, you're going to be able to get the right method to assess the control, to understand exactly how they implement the control. It's very, very important to read the document like this, uh, uh, like the SSP and the policy and procedure document. This is going to provide you a guiding principle as to how they implemented this control. And that's going to, you know, ultimately help you to assess the control effectively. Number three, ensure the documents have been reviewed and are current with all the required signatures. So when you are, whenever you are reviewing this document, the key takeaway is you don't want to, you know, start testing document that has not been reviewed for about five six years or maybe 10 years that is pretty much a dead document right especially when it is policy and procedure within the organization so you might want to be able to make sure that these documents are reviewed and updated that is a current document in order for you to go ahead and start using those documents in your assessment 
Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting your time. That's it for this first episode of our security control series. Our next control for episode two will be AC2, account management. If you find this video useful, hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm will expose this video to a lot of people. And I will see you in our next episode.